Hey everyone, Happy Extruder here. Uh, talking about some power supplies. Uh, recently I bought an ANET A8 and I knew the stock PCS, PSU that came with it was uh, not that great. You know, they give you a uh, 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 watered down power supply unit. Uh, but safety wise, um, I was really concerned. Uh, there was no fan unit on this. A lot of people bought it and they put their own fans up here. But, um, I don't like to put stuff that's watered down on any of my uh, devices and stuff that I use. I always try to upgrade where I can. Um, other than the fact that um, the PSU didn't have a fan, I'm not a great uh, proponent of things that have stickers on it. Like this one says here, 2017, um, quality inspected. Uh, I'm not too crazy about a sticker telling me that, you know, this thing is good to go. Not to say that something might happen. Might work just fine. Um, the probability of anything is 1%. So I don't want, I don't like to play with that 1%. I like to try to cover all the bases. So I ordered a Meanwell power supply. And um, this power supply is from the stock unit. Uh, it has the... Uh, CE here is the European code um, and this supposedly states that it's uh, pass an inspection uh, where they where they actually build these uh, where they or where they order from the the, the manufacturing unit but um, you know I'll show you the difference from a power supply that uh, has some quality control uh, inspections so this is what you get with the ANET A8. I'll put that there for comparison. The meanwhile, I ordered this from online. And uh, as you can see, it has a you know, description. Also has right here a serial number. This serial number should be matched up with the one on the actual power supply. So if we open this up, and you can notice... Uh, if I can get it out of the box. Sorry, I hit the camera there. So this is the Meanwell power supply. And um, I'll hold it to as comparison. Uh, you can see that uh, the connectors are different on the Meanwell. Uh, also, the uh, voltage uh, adjuster on this one is straight up and down. On the Meanwell, they have it facing straight out so you can just put something and adjust it. Uh, the good thing about this power supply has a built-in fan and they put a little sticker here that the power supply's built-in fan on off control circuit automatically works according to the temperature. You have the uh, Meanwell sticker with the unit and the model. This is a 30 amp. You also have the Meanwell logo uh, etched into the power supply. And then that serial number that I was talking about, it's right here. It's the same one that's on the box. It's right here. If you take this serial number and you go online, you'll see that this serial number comes in a batch testing and you can actually download the quality control sheet for this power supply. Uh, let me show you that right now on the computer. Go over to the Meanwell <clears throat> site, meanwell.com, click on the quality inspection report. Inside the serial number, put your serial number to your power supply and make sure you get um, I don't know if it's case sensitive, but you put it in there. Down below, there's a verified code. Look on to your right, you'll see a code. You put that code inside the verified code. And once you do that, you'll click the search field. Once you click that search field, uh, it'll generate your report. And you'll see a quality control inspection report with your batch number. Uh, your, your serial number will be between this batch numbers. 
And if you scroll down, you'll notice they have a uh, visual inspection. They'll check to see the components, hardware, all the insulation, the component lead, all the uh, things that had to do with putting it together. You see it was uh, inspected and the result up to the right, you'll see where it says pass. And there's different um, stuff they do, normal function tests, burning tests, your safety tests. All these things are done to the power supply and uh, you can go scroll through it and see for yourself um, from even from a visual inspection uh, inspection from the packing um, uh, all the way down to the AT function test report um, they check everything you can see if it passed it's a good uh, thing to have God forbid something happens at least you have a tangible uh, paperwork or paper trail that you can lean back and rely and say you know these things were tested and you can see the temperature of the fan control, uh, which was there 56 degrees Celsius, 49 degrees Celsius. There's uh, an inspector and an approval inspector. You'll see the actual date and the person's name on the bottom. So these are great things to have. Uh, trust me, uh, it's nothing like having a quality control result in your hands. Well, <clears throat> until next time, this is the Happy Extruder. As always, happy extruding. I got to get back to that A-Net bill, and I still got the little monster to finish over there. Um, so until next time, stay tuned. And remember, subscribe and like.